Hello everybody, Xanafar here, and today I am doing a review of episode 4 of the English dub of Ultraman Z. Let's talk about the characters. Let's first talk about Yuka, cause she is the main character of this episode, and she is really, really good in this episode. She is upset because they didn't follow her plan with Windam, and she wants to make Windam work and everything, and struggling to find a better power source for him. She has a very nice scene with Bako I really like, and she gets the idea to use Noranga's sails to power up Windam. So Yuka is really fantastic in this episode, super fun, super interesting, and just really good. Now let's talk about Daddy Bako. Bako is really good in this episode, I love his advice to Yuka, saying you think outside the box, it's a really nice scene, really like that. And I also like the fact he called Windan his second son, I think that's pretty funny. And I like how he gets flustered when Yuka says it's our son. I think that's really funny. Bako is really fantastic in this episode. Let's talk about Haruki. Haruki's pudding gets burnt because of Naranga sales in Yuka's fridge. But that gives an idea to use Naranga sales. So I guess it was a good thing Haruki's pudding got burnt. I would not put food in that fridge because there's kaiju parts. What if you get messed up with a kaiju part with your food? Hey, where do you get the meat? Oh, I got it from your fridge. Also, Haruki and Zet finds out there's kaiju medals getting made. Now let's talk about Setabro. Setabro is a great villain, very creepy, and in this episode he makes a kaiju corn, and that is Jiras. Very cool that you Jiras as a kaiju corn, especially the first kaiju corn. I like that a lot. Let's talk about Yoko. Yoko pilots Windam in this episode and works together with Lord Zet to fight Tedestan. Very, very nice. Now let's talk about the captain. The captain, well, it's mostly very tired and he keeps playing with Ruby Cube. He's just very bored and he wants to play with a new toy. So the characters in this episode, well, all of them have pretty nice moments I really like. But the real star of this episode is Yuka. This is her episode and it's just a really good episode with her. Now let's talk about the dubbing. Now Yuka's voice actress Macy Ann Johnson is doing such a great job being Yuka. She captures Yuka's spirit so well and personality so well. It's just really, really good. Bako's voice actor Kent Williams is doing such a great job as Bako. I especially love his scene with Yuka because he has really good Kennedy with Macy Ann Johnson. I feel like but this that scene was just really fantastic with the voice acting. Now, I didn't talk about this character when he first appeared in the first episode, but Shinya, or Celebro, I should say, voice actor in the first episode, he's doing a good job being Shinya, and he's being voiced by Howard Wayne. So yeah, but I can't really judge him with the Celebro voice, because Celebro hadn't been talking in English, he didn't just talk about it in his own language, so I can't really judge him yet. But the other voice actors all oh, doing a great job. I'm still amazed how good this dub is with the voice acting. Now let's talk about the effects. First thing first, Windam! A new robot. Well, not really new, because Windam first appeared in Ultra 7. And I love Windam, as you know. Really do. Like, Windam is one of my favorite capture monsters. And this, he's not a capture monster, he's a robot. And I think this is the first time Windam had ever been a robot, not a capture monster. So that is very interesting, very cool. But it's still really cool to see Windam. I always love Windam. So anytime when he appears, I'm always happy. Also, another reappearing kaiju from the original Ultraman, Tedestan. Very cool to see Tedestan, like Tedestan very much. And Tedestan gets a fusion form with Jiras, where he gains a thrill. And that's it. I kind of wish Terrasan grew some green maybe, and maybe some spikes to indicate giraffes. That would have been cool, maybe along the tail, but sadly no, just a frill. Kind of sucks, not one of my favorite fusion forms. Still cool to see Terrasan. Drill is the drill that creates the heavens! Also the city effects and the camera shots in this episode are amazing. There's so many beautiful, nice shots, it's just like breathtaking for me, it's like whoa. That's awesome looking. Even the fight scene is amazing. I forgot how good the Ultraman Z fight scenes are. So the effects are good in this episode. Now let's talk about my 
criticisms. Now, I don't really have any criticisms for this episode. The set made me the Jiras and Terrasan fusion, but that's just a nitpick. What did I like about this episode? I really liked the Bako and Yuka scene, what I already said. It's just a really nice scene with the two. Chris, it's awesome to see Windam. I really like Windam, so that made me really happy. Seeing the Jiras Rethans is very cool. The camera shots, what I said. So yeah, that's pretty much everything I liked about this episode. What is my final thoughts for episode 4 of Ultraman Z? I think this episode is really good. I like this episode quite a lot. You know me, I love solo character episodes. But they give a character their own episode, and this is Yuka's episode, and it's just a really good episode. I really like this episode quite a lot. So that is it for this review. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to tell me down below what you think of the episode. If you like this video, drop a like for this video. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. Xanafar is out.